That was a really amazing um, day overall, amazing opportunity tonight. Um, what an atmosphere that was. Uh, you anticipate it, you think about it, you work hard for it. Usually that comes a little bit later in the season, and this year it came November 4th. Um, you know, I think they had to find more room for all the band members because every one of them wanted to be here tonight. And um, so that just sums up Beaver Nation. And so to take that court uh, in that environment and then to look down at the other end and, you know, see the best team in the world uh, warming up is really something. Um, our day today with them was um, amazing. Uh, this, today they allowed us to come into their shoot around, spend time with them, talk to them. Uh, interact with them and, and then ask some questions and just listening to them talk you hear wisdom yeah they were gracious it was authentic it was I mean it was one of those things that just doesn't ever happen <laughs> and it happened today so it was one of those days and then tonight to take the court you don't know exactly how it's going to go um, you know this team I, I know from talking to them they weren't real happy with the way their game started the other night um, you know well usually a team, well, it's true, a team always improves a lot from game one to game two. Um, I don't care what the sport or what the scenario. And so uh, I knew they'd come with a great effort tonight, and I loved our team's effort. I loved our mindset. I loved the way we approached it. Um, you know, so it's 100% something to build upon and grow from, and it's a moment we'll never forget, ever. And, you know, when they flexed a little bit in the third quarter, uh, you know, and just pounded it inside and got out in transition. And they're up there in defensive intensity, switched some things um, up uh, that impacted us. And, uh, you know, they got away from us in that quarter. But then I liked the way we fought in the fourth quarter. And so um, couldn't say enough about our team, about Beaver Nation, and honestly about Team USA and Carol Callen and, and all of them for giving us the opportunity coming here and, and just, um, you know, just being first class in every way. Um, it was just a, an amazing, amazing night. Destiny, Leo, you guys were within six points in the third quarter. What did it feel like out there, you know, to go toe to toe with them for that long? And then was it just a case of, man, we're here and they got so many weapons that just keep coming at you where they were able to kind of pull away? Um, yeah, no, I think our first two quarters, we, we held our own, came out with a great mindset and great focus from the tip. Um, that third quarter is something that um, you look at and you're just kind of like, man, if we would have held our own in that quarter, this would have been a completely different game. Um, but overall, I think we did great through all fourth quarter, like all four quarters. And if we fix the third, um, it gives us something to work on. And Destiny and Aliyah, what was it like being out there with the U.S. national team players? What did it feel like out there? Yeah, uh, it was pretty amazing. You don't really realize it. I think looking back, it's honestly cooler than actually being in the moment because when you're a competitor, you don't really care who's on the other end. So. Uh, I think our jitters got out or, or got out of us early. We got them out early and then just kind of played basketball. Um, I think it's a blessing. Um, we're playing against a cross from people that we've looked up to in our entire lives. I mean, I can't remember a day I've watched women's basketball and haven't seen Diana Tarazi, Tarazi on the other side and Sue Bird. And to have them across from you and them guarding you or you guarding them, you're just like, I saw them read screens better than anybody I've ever seen read screens before, and I, I can't wait to watch them and how they played us and, and with our defense um, and go back and just kind of get better and learn from that, and there's so much to learn from. Destiny or Leah, what was the, I guess, the most important or best advice that you got from any of them, whether that be the shoot around today or after the game, during the game? You want to go? Go ahead. Um... You know, I think one for me, because um, I know it's a big part of taking the next step um, for me personally, is taking care of your body and um, really getting to that pro level. Um, it wears and tears on your body years and years of playing, and they really spoke to it um, in their shoot around today and just saying what you need to do and um, the mindset of a competitor. When you think of things as competitive or, or passionate, um, you're willing to take those steps. And so I feel like that was a really good um, lesson. I honestly can't really think of one thing because anything that came out of their mouth was gold to all of us. I mean, just being able to talk to them and listen to what they had to say. Um, similar to what Destiny said, nutrition is very important. Taking care of your body is very important. Um, and like she said, they they really harped on that. And then also just uh, watching, watching women's basketball, watching them, watching the WBA teams, and how much you can learn from just watching the game 
is just so much, and I think that's one thing that they also kind of harped on is watch, watch and learn a lot, and so that's something that really I enjoyed to hear because I'm like, hey, that's something I, I can do more of and watch and learn that way. Scott, would you, is it fair to say that's probably the best defense you're, you're going to see all year? And then for the players, what was it like to run offense against it? What we learned from running offense against a defense like that? Well, you'd assume it's, I mean, it's the best team in the world. I mean, they're all pros and they're all, you know, WNBA all-stars for the most part. And I would assume that's probably the best cohesive team we'll see this year. Um, when they upped their intensity, you know, another aspect, I mean, there's people out there trying to make the team. So you know that you're getting a big time effort, um, you know, from them. And I thought that was evident with some people off their bench uh, where they're chasing our guards so hard. Um, you know, what was interesting about it for us is we, uh, I mean, we're inexperienced in the post, you know, without Taya tonight, um, you know, that limited some of the things we could have done um, because we just didn't have the experience, you know, and so there was a stretch, there were a couple stretches in the game where I might as well have been talking another language, you know, because the environment was too big for somebody in their first experience out there. And so that limited us a little bit, um, you know, it, but I would assume that's the best team we'll see this year, you know, overall, maybe ever. And so a uh, great opportunity to learn from. Scott, you said sometimes felt like you were speaking another language. Sylvia came in and talked really, really highly of those freshman post players. Um, what did you kind of see out of them, um, especially playing against the best? They came out there and looked pretty fearless, at least in that first half. Yeah, one hundred percent. More of the same from what we've seen all year. I mean, they've come in. You know, Kennedy and Taylor are two. I mean, these are blue chip recruits. Um, you know, highly ranked. They've won their entire life. They've never lost in, I mean, very few games. And so their expectation is to win. And they can't, they've been excited for this experience forever. And so when you get to that level, you look for the next challenge. You can't wait for it. And that's how they approached tonight. You know, it was like, okay, what can I do out here? And they were played big and they played bold. And, you know, you saw them handle a frustration well and just go, okay, what do I need to do next? You know, and so they have shown they're not going to back down from anyone. Um, and if you don't back down tonight, you won't back down from anyone. You know, so that's a great sign of things to come. Uh, but that's a, a credit to this team and our upperclassmen for bringing them along and including them from day one and making them feel a part of the team. And honestly, expecting a lot from them. You know, and so we don't care what year you are. We we just expect that, you know, you're one of us, and let's go. You know, and that's how they played tonight. And I was really proud of them. I mean, can you imagine? Being them, can you imagine what they just experienced tonight? It's it's uh, mind blowing. Yeah, super proud of them. For any of you guys, for the players especially, you know, you guys went toe to toe with them. I know you guys, you you guys have a lot of confidence. Was, did what did you, did you take a lot out of like, hey, we went toe to toe up into the end, and did that reaffirm what you thought, or did it just give you guys a little bit of a leg of like, yeah, we really can be this competitive and, and fight against the best? Yeah. I think it definitely showed that we can be competitive. We can fight with anyone. I mean, you hang with the U.S. national team. You're going you're gonna to compete against anyone. But I think it also showed us that we can't make mistakes. You can't make defensive errors because good teams are going to capitalize on all of that. And so you can't make mental errors. Um, that's another thing is those small mistakes, if you're playing against a good team, that's the difference between a win and a loss. Aaliyah, I think it was the first bucket for you guys of the game. You hit, you hit Subert with a between the legs step back, and you got her on ice skates a little bit. Um, somebody like that that you, you watched growing up, and for that kind of moment to happen, um, I saw you kind of maybe smiling a little bit on your way down the back, uh, the other end of the court. What was that like? Um, I mean, it was just a basketball play. Uh, I try not to think about who I was playing against, but yeah, it felt good to make that first shot. It definitely got my jitters out, and it was from there on, it was game time.